Here we are, another night back in the shop, working on the ProMaster. And what we're doing tonight is doing a really quick install of the Fiamma awning. And pretty much, I have the brackets that will just adapt the awning to the Unaka roof rack we have here. And Unaka sells the Fiamma adapters right here that attach directly to the roof rack. And then they attach to the Fiamma brackets. So pretty much just going to open this up, get it apart, get these brackets hooked up, drop it on the roof, bolt it in, and we're done. So let's get it going. All right, I unboxed the awning. Pretty simple. There it is right here. This is the Yama F45. I believe it's the 350, which will fit the 159 wheelbase ProMaster non-extended. And here's the parts kit. So next, I'm going to attach the brackets together with the supplied hardware. And so how it works is the two wider Fiamma brackets that come with the awning go on the edges, and then the shorter one goes in the middle. And so I'm just going to attach the Unaka adapter here to the back of these. Any seeds. Okay, so we have all the brackets tightened up, secured to the Fiamma brackets here. And so next, all I'm going to do is just put this up and bolt it to the roof rack, grab the awning, drop it on here so I can align the awning to the side of the van how I want it. And then the last step is to, once you get these marked out on the awning, is you have to drill a small hole in the bottom of it so that you can lock it in with this M5 bolt and then the nylon lock nut up top here. So you got to do it for all three. So let's go ahead, get this up on there. Next step, we have to drill out the securing holes for the brackets underneath so that you can get the bolt through there and tighten it through. That way the bracket stays attached to this. So I'm going to drill the three holes here and then we're pretty much done.
<laughs> all right, there it is. I got the awning all mounted up nice and tight. The only thing left to do is just to extend it out just to make sure everything works and then bring it back in and that completes the install of the awning. So let's go ahead and bring it out and see what it looks like. Nice. And then it has the legs in here that you can prop it up, but I don't need to do that right now. Just wanted to extend it out, see how it looks. But when you're at a campsite, you fold the legs out and then it would actually hold this up. But as you can see, it's strong enough to hold itself. But uh, if you wanted it higher, put the legs down and bring it up about like that. So I'm going to go reel it back in and call it a night. Let's see this way. 